Disclaimer. This is not a full review of Quixel 2. It only covers new stuff added in to version 2.0. Hello everyone and welcome to another showcase. Today I'm presenting you Quixel 2 and I've been waiting a long time to say this sentence. Because I've been working on Quixel 2 a long time and I'm really satisfied with the result because I think it's extremely user friendly now. Previously I get a lot of comments saying like how do you add this item to the shop, how do you add that item to the shop and the current system really confuses some users and now there's an in-game editor which makes it extremely user friendly and boosters have changed as well. I'm just going to go show you all of that right away and if you now do slash quicksell you will see this help message and you can now do a quicksell editor instead of edit, delete or create shop because all of that is now bound into one single editor. You can still use the edit comment and such but they are not listed there anymore because they are deprecated so make sure to use the editor instead because the current comments will no longer be usable in the future. Anyway, I'm just going to show you the editor here and if we open up our editor we can see we can edit existing shops or add new shops. I'm just going to edit the test shop I created earlier. Uh, however, my recording software crashed so I'm recording this the second time now. And you can change the name of a shop, you can change the display item so as which item the shop will be displayed in the editor and the slash cell comment. You can also change the permission required for the shop and you can change the inheritance. So you can inherit from, from an ex existing shop which is going to copy all prices and settings to your current shop. However, if an item has a price has a different price in your current shop than it has in the inherited shop, it's going to take the price in the existing shop instead of the inherited shop, if that makes sense to you. So you can see I'm inheriting from adventurer shop, however test shop is only is always going to have a high priori priority. So yeah, I'm just going to create a new shop here and we will call that uh, I don't know. Review! Yeah! <laughs> and we are just going to make it a lock. And we are going to inherit from the test shop. So you can toggle all of these to inherit from multiple shops if you want. And you can right click to edit a shop contents. And you can see all items and their prices have been copied from the previous shop. Now to add an item, you just click the common block here and you can add the oak wood now. Uh, there are several options available and the cancel option. I'm just going to go over these. So there's material only which is going to take any log there is. So as you know spruce wood has the sub id of 1 so it's a log 1 and birch has, sub -ID, has a sub id of 2 so it's log 2. However, if I do material only, it's it's only going to look for logs. So it will take oak, spruce, birch, and jungle, etc. Material only and exclude metadata is similar to, similar to the previous option. It's going to uh, take oak wood, spruce wood, and birch wood, jungle wood, etc. However, it's not going to take named items like this magical wood, for example. And material and sub ID is going to specifically look for sub ID. So if I add oak wood, it's not going to take spruce wood or birch wood, but it's going to take oak wood only. The same uh, for material sub ID and exclude metadata as for the material only and exclude metadata. It's going to only take oak wood and only if it's not named. Pretty complicated. But I think it's uh, user friendly. I chose wood for example here. And material and display name is only going to take uh, the material when it's named. So if I apply this magical, if I add this magical wood here, it's going to only take wood which is named magical wood. 
But we're just going to mat uh, take material only here. And you can see now it costs one dollar. And if I could find it here, there we go. So you can see there are two Oakwoods here because this one is inherited from a previous shop. However, this is not uh, material only, this is material only and exclude metadata. So uh, this is going to take a higher priority. Anyway, you, you can just left click to add it to price and we can make this cost a hundred, uh, a million, I guess, a hundred trillion or a quadrillion and it goes up to infinity. You can make a high price. People will complain. Uh, no, they will not complain. They will be lucky because this is in the end the money you get for selling this. So if you feel generous, you can just give them a lot of money for wood. So yeah, you can also do shift and right click to remove this item from the shop simply. It's simply as that, just clicking. It's really easy to compare to the big config file you had in Quicksell 1. And there are also multiple pages, so uh, you can fit in, I don't know, a quadrillion of items into one shop. So yeah, that's about it for the shop editor. Now I'm going to show you boosters. Boosters have changed a crap ton. Because there are now four types of boosters. On this server there are only two. Because boosters money, uh, this is boosters as they worked before. So if you sell something you can get a booster. Uh, or you get a booster and you sell something and it sells for more money. Same for XP, so if you would collect XP you will get more XP um, if you have a booster running. So boosters can now multiply money and XP and they can also multiply MC MMO XP. Yes, that's right. MC MMO is supported by Quicksell's boosters. And so are uh, gems by Prison Gems. I, um, I, I don't have these plugin in plugins installed on the server, so I can't show you that. And yeah, I'm just going to create a new booster here. Uh, booster and P Booster are the comments, they have not changed. And yeah, you can see, you can do slash booster monetary, this is going to be money, then the name of a player, the multiplier, and the duration in minutes. So, now I've activated a 2.x booster in, in, for money for 10 minutes. So if I now sell uh, wood to this shop, I will get 16 because it co uh, I get 8 for the wood and there's a 2x booster running and yeah that's why I got 16. So if I do boosters you have now a menu where you can check on your boosters and you can see it lists all contributors. The contrib contributor? Did I say that right? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Either it lists all contributors. That doesn't sound right. It lists all players who have uh, contrib... Con con it lists all players which have added uh, a duration to this booster. So if I do, I don't know, uh, notch, you can see it no longer said that he activated the booster. It said that he extended the 2.x booster. So if I now do boosters, you can see uh, I added 10 minutes and notch added 10 minutes. Pretty cool, isn't it? So yeah, the same for XP, I'm not going to show that. And as you can see in the sell message, there's also a message saying hover for more info. It's also going to display that info in this message. Uh, however, it's not going to list Notch any anymore because Notch has extended the booster after I sold these. So yeah, that's about it for boosters. Now I'm going to show you citizen support. Citizen support is something very important for Quicksell 2 because it's so cool. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, it's cool. Yeah, I'm just going to create a new NPC using citizens here and this is going to be a Mr. Cookie Slam NPC. So yeah, I can punch it, I can interact with it and yeah. I'm just going to do slash Quicksell link and Link NPC uh, review, what's the shop called? Sell. 
And Mr. Cuckoo Slam is now a remote cell shop for the shop review. So if I right click it, you can see I can open up the, cell, uh, the review shop. And if I punch it, I can see the prices. And this heartbeat is really annoying. So yeah, you can left click to see the prices, you can right click to sell it. Uh, the same works for sell all. So if I now right click it, it's go uh, just going to execute sell all. And left click will sh still show the prices. But you can also do slash quick sell unlink NPC. And you will no longer be linked to any shop. By the way, this uh, uses the NPC you selected using NPC select. If I do slash NPC create, it's automatically going to be selected. So make sure that you select the right NPC. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for Quicksell 2. Uh, it requires vault and, a, and, and an, an... It requires vault, syscallib and an economy plugin. No matter which economy plugin, just any economy plugin will do. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this showcase and see you next time. Bye!